afternoon, guys. From the floor. I am getting some work in and shaky shaky. Currently editing this week's vlog. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who um, commented, reached out. I don't know, even if you didn't like it. I just want to appreciate you actually even taking the time to watch it and to even acknowledge it, especially with everything that's going on in our day and age. So yes, um, so much love for y'all. I'm very excited. I'm going to New York for a couple days to see some friends, um, do some research and eat my face off, which I'm so excited. I haven't been on the road since July. So my travel, um, what's the saying? Like travel, travel bug or whatever. No, not travel bug. Travel bugs when you get sick. Anyways, I'm just itching to be traveling again, even if it's somewhere that I've been. But, you know, New York is always ever-changing, and so very, very excited. Just got out of the shower, as you can tell. And I got a text notification that my skincare package is here. And so I wanted to show you everything fresh out of the box, haven't even opened it, like dove into it yet, but I'm so excited. So let me actually put on some clothes. So I love skincare. I grew up having, as you can see, there's a little pimple right there. I grew up having um, a lot of hormonal acne. Um, and so, and also really big pores, which I don't know if you can see, but um, they easily get clogged. So over the last couple of years, I've gotten obsessed with skincare. Um, and I didn't realize how much money is in this industry too, but I used to get Botox every six months and then, um, that was just adding up. And then I used to take hormonal medication and I ended up running out. So I figure why don't I just dive a little bit into skincare more to understand what I'm actually putting on my skin and thus leaning off of Botox because that adds up. And if you don't keep up with it, like it wears off obviously. And then also um, regulating my diet so that I'm not relying on a pill to help with my hormonal acne, which it's gotten a little flared up ever since I leaned off of it, but hasn't been terrible. So it means I must be eating and exercising right. So the first product is, I got a lot of free stuff by the way, um, because I spent quite a bit, but this is gonna last me a while. So the first, I'll show you the freebies that I got. So I got this Dermalogica Exfoliating Trio. I'm so happy, guys. <laughs> so happy. I got this Dr. Dennis Gross Daily Peel. I've heard really good things about this, so I'm excited to try. And like these peels alone, I think are like seven bucks. Also got this, oh guys, this Luna Oil by Sunday Riley, so good. I tried it out while I was in London and I would apply it at night and it was just amazing um, for and on my skin. Got this RMS Beauty Primer Tester. And then now for the good stuff, the stuff that I ordered. So, Grown Alchemist, this is a facial oil um, someone that I went to yoga teacher training with, her skin, she's, I think in her 40s, her skin looks immaculate. I think Europeans in general, they know what they're doing with their skincare, because if you look at a lot of European skins, um, specifically Eastern European, I've noticed, their skin is tight, it's smooth, and this is without makeup, so she recommended Grown Alchemist. I've actually read about the brand quite a bit, and they are, they have really good products. So that's this. I then got Elta MD sunscreen, tinted sunscreen. This stuff is so good. It's expensive for a sunscreen, but um, I was introduced to it when I went to uh rescue spa in new york and i have one of the regular sunscreens and it works so well it's not claggy 
and I wanted to try a tinted one. So, because I don't like wearing a lot of layers of makeup, um, I don't really like wearing makeup in general except on my eyes. So, I'm excited to try this. And then I got DHC just makeup wipes. And then right out. Guys, this brand, IS Clinical, this is, this is the stuff. This is um, a cleansing complex polish, also introduced to me when I went to Rest Use Spa. Um, and it's just so good. I have been using La Roche Posay. And to be quite honest, I don't like it enough because it doesn't exfoliate and I double exfoliate. So I use a cleansing mom and then I use a cleanser um, lotion type, which is water applicable. But this stuff, this does it for me and there's little um cleansing beads in the polish and that helps exfoliate but i will i still double cleanse with a balm as well and then finally let me see if i can open this first i got this sunday riley trial kit of all their best products um, I ran out of a vitamin C serum. <gasps> Look at her! So good. I've actually tried the Good Jeans. Good Jeans works so well, especially if after you've been out in the sun. And then um, it was really the vitamin C serum that I've been wanting to try, and I've heard really good things about it. And then the autocorrect and the vitamin A retinol. I needed a retinol and I wanted to try something different. So I got this set. That's all my products that I got. And now I'm going to go put them on and get ready for the day. Hello, y'all. Hello. Have an amazing day. And how great is my skin? in the afternoon <laughs> and I'm finally showering after my 7 a.m. workout this morning and um, just getting caught up in work emails so showered late just like sat in my sweat does anyone else do that or is it just me definitely not good for your skin as I'm was telling you how much I love skincare, but sometimes it just happens and I'm actually not one to like shower immediately after a workout. I like to relax a little bit and today we just relaxed a little too much. So I will probably delete this later when I'm editing, but today has been, this week has been a bit rough. Um, well, not necessarily rough, but like bipolar. Also, guys, this is hilarious. I'm just noticing this on the mirror. You have to see it. Old sizing stickers from Hollister and Abercrombie. <laughs> like I was saying, this week has been a little bit off. Kind of like bipolar. Uh, I start out really good in the mornings. I could probably attribute that to the workouts. And then I just lose all sense of emotion by the afternoon, today especially. I just felt really low. Being in Boston yesterday made me realize how much I miss New York. And I was walking around Beacon Hill and I was like, oh my God, I could totally live in Beacon Hill, which is kind of funny because I could totally see myself living in the West Village. And then I realized, wow, I have really expensive taste <laughs> and I love old buildings but it made me miss living in New York and as much as I tried to compare the two thinking that like okay Boston we can get away with 
I was like a lower tier New York, like nothing compares to New York, so. Okay guys, an hour later after filming that last part and I'm finally leaving the house, I was struggling very hard to leave. Um, it's just, wow, I left my window open this entire time. It's just, um, it's just growing pains, maybe. I honestly don't know what it is anymore. Uh, I talked to Michael right before I left. And I was like, hey, are you good? He's like, it just sucks waiting, like being in this waiting period of when you're next. And, you know, trying to take advantage of this time to rest is hard when you're just so eager to go. But like they said, like they said, like God said, like, I don't know who says, but anyways, there's that saying that goes, um, sometimes doors aren't open for you yet because either something better is coming or you're being protected by something. I'm not doing the saying justice at all, but, um, yeah, it just feels like a lot of growing pains that aren't necessarily pains, just I don't know. It's just one of those days. And you know, I wanted to share this as I was editing this last vlog, the second one. There was so much that I ended up cutting out that I wanted to share with you guys. And I purely cut it out because I probably was sick of hearing myself talk for who knows how many times because I rewatched and edited that vlog several times. And Mind you, it was originally an hour and 40 minutes of content that I cut down to, I think it was 16 minutes was the final, and originally, the original final was 23 minutes, um, but a bulk of that is me talking and me sharing, and in my mind, I'm like, oh my god, well, people are going to get bored of me talking in the car to them all the time, so I need to, like, vary it up, but then... Yeah, I don't know. I think that it's also me understanding like what I actually want to share and I'm learning that as I go along and, you know, editing really helps me. And it also is just good to hear me say the things that I was venting about before now and understanding if those were significant or insignificant problems. Uh, but yeah, dude.
long time no chat. I am back in New Hampshire after a few days in New York and uh, thought we'd do some catching up while I unpack and do some unboxing of, I don't know, I got a few packages that I don't really know what they are, so yes, there's that. Um, I am not gonna, by the way, this is what I'm using to open these boxes right now. I'm not gonna lie, I am not all that thrilled to be back home. Um, on the train ride up, I was like really anxious, and then when I got into Boston, I was like, yeah, this ain't it, like truly. And uh, this was so unnecessary. So, pause for real quick, guys. I got. I used seed, which is a pre-probiotic, and they shipped it in this box. When the whole, when a part of their ethos is being like environmentally conscious, this is what came in that box. Makes sense. Um, that's ridiculous. So, yes, I'm not gonna lie. I'm I can't exactly remember what I told you guys in the last vlog, but I do know that I had mentioned that being at home has been hard. And, you know, this past week in particular before getting to New York was definitely rough. Like, my thoughts were spiraling. Um, just further down and down to, like, thoughts that I've never thought of before. And I'll give you a prime example. Some of you already know because I saw you while I was in New York. Um, but it got to the point where my thoughts were me questioning if I had lost my sex appeal. And like y'all know that I have never thought that way about myself. I Sometimes I make crude jokes about my appearance, but I've never questioned my looks. I've never really looked down on my looks in that way. And it was on the trade ride to New York where I ended up texting one of my friends and I said, please be honest, have I lost it? And mind you, she's female, so it doesn't really help even if I was asking her. Um, not that I need the external validation from someone anyways, but... You know, what I realized after talking to a separate friend about this was that especially being a minority raised in a white environment, I, th I would say I kind of got spoiled or maybe I got fair by living in New York where, you know, Asian women are being hit on and are seen as beautiful and not just like, oh, she's Asian, whatever, which is exactly how it was up here in New Hampshire. I was just seen as another chick and I was never really vied or admired and that in its own, like, you can feel as confident as you want and you can feel as good in your skin as you want, but if you're in an environment where it doesn't promote those thoughts for you. Like, yeah, your conscious could be thinking like, oh yeah, I look beautiful and I'm amazing. But your subconscious could be questioning all of that and thinking the quite opposite. So that's just one example of one of the thoughts that I've been having. Um, there have been others and multiple like on various subjects. And so um, I didn't wanna say to everyone that I saw in New York, Thank you so much for your time and just being beautiful and allowing the space and meals and whatever it may be that we shared together um, for that to come to fruition. I enjoyed my time so much in New York and I actually forgot how much I actually missed it. Um, I can do New York in doses. I cannot do it like as a forever place to live. Um, I didn't go to bed until 3 a.m. Friday night and Saturday night and that for me was just I'm like absolutely wrecked right now. I'm running off for five hours of sleep. Um, I've barely had any protein. 
which y'all know about like me getting on my health kick. That is very important for me. Um, but I did have a really good time. And what I miss the most about New York that I tried to find in Boston and maybe I just need to give it more time, I don't know, was culture. Like, I got off the train at Spring Street, uh, Spring Street on the 6th and I just am walking out and I, you just see so many different styles and so many different personalities and just like the energy itself is just electric and it's beautiful and it's not the same up here. And I thought it was me, but I talked to a friend about it. Like I got into Boston today. I'm waiting for my brother to pick me up and right in front of me are three separate guys all dressed alike and I'm like we're back in Boston guys <laughs> and if you know what I mean you know what I mean or maybe I can like photoshop a photo right here of what they look like and you'll know exactly what I mean and of course that exists in New York as well but I think it's just you don't see it as commonly because there are so many different types of people so many different types of styles types of groups <sighs> yeah i can do new york in doses i cannot do it for probably more than a weekend especially considering the fact that i barely slept this past weekend i also got a new planner guys i swear by this um it is a daily planner but also helps with habits and manifestations and goal setting and i've used one before which i'll actually show you but i am on my last month so here it is so it's called life mastery i'll show you guys actually what example so this was my month of August. Whee. So you set three goals, you set a main goal, um, five ways or three ways to get to your three goals, and then you have like all that little stuff, right? So that's the month. And after every month, there's a review of the month. This is my favorite part because I love looking back at this. Um, you do a check-in, a wheel check-in. How was every area of your life? Things that you loved and learned, things that you didn't, what were you in line with, alignment with, what you want to improve on next month, and then life priority goals for the next 30 days. Really cool stuff. And so what's great also is that not only do you do it every 30 days, but you do it every quarter. So this was my mind planning, map planning. I didn't fill all of it out for June to August. I'll actually show you a filled out one because it looks so pretty when it's filled out. This was March to May. <laughs> March to May. I was in London and I was visiting home for a little bit. So yeah, these were the goals that I had set for myself and how I wanted my life to look like um, throughout those three months. And then three top priority goals for those three months and so doing that has actually really helped in breaking down every single month and what i want to achieve because then i'll look back at this 90 day goal plan and it keeps me aligned so yes i got a new one i got it in blue royal blue which i'm very excited about kind of hard to see the color but that's what it looks like so i got that and it's interesting because i always feel like once summer ends, that's when my new year actually starts. Um, so that is the planner. But going back to what I was saying earlier, yeah. Uh, guys, it, I just don't think the States is for me, to be quite honest. It, just the energy isn't the same here. And like, yes, like it's all about how you make it. But I don't know. I'm not super thrilled to be back in New Hampshire. Um, I'm supposed to be here till October, but I'm just like, I don't even know how I'm gonna do it. I am actually gonna be doing a little bit of traveling in September. So that will help for sure. But uh, we'll see. I feel like, I know friends are meant to be, true friends are meant to 
be there to hear you out, to be a soundboard, to look for look out for you in your best interests. And so whenever I'm venting to a friend, I always feel like I'm, complain I'm complaining to a friend, especially if I'm repeating the same thing over to different people. Um, because that tends to happen when I'm catching up with people that I don't see for a while. And um, I felt like I was able to do a lot of that this weekend. And if anything, that has helped me to, you know, release all of the tension and stress and just unhappiness that I've been having. Um, and now, even though I'm not super stoked to be back in New Hampshire, I do have motivation to actually push forward rather than walla walla next what did we get from O'Neill guys I um, really wanted to go surfing while I was in New York I wanted to go surfing at Rockaway which is in Queens and I ended up not going one because I didn't really want to be on a train uh, to get there there is a train oh frick there's actually a ferry to get there. I didn't even think about that. But there's a train in half, the majority of the time that you're on the train, if you're underground. I was like, ah, it was a really nice day and I didn't want to be underground for like two hours round trip. So I did not go surfing, but what I did do is I got surf boots. These are actually really cool. This is a grippy at the bottom. But if you remember from my last video, I could not stand up on my board because my feet were frozen. So yeah, this should do it. And now I could um, surf in the fall. We'll see about winter. So that is that package. So now I actually know what I have, what I got. It was those two big boxes where I was like, eh, what's this? This I'm really excited about. So every single time I go surfing, I have been renting wetsuits and my last time that I was surfing if you remember in the last video I was wearing a pink wetsuit and that one was this like the minute I got it I was like this does not give like great vibes there was a hole in it it smelled um especially in the armpit area and I just felt really gross and so I have yo this is how you know shit's going down I made the investment I'm buying my own wetsuit. It feels much better to have my own, considering you actually never really know what people do in those wetsuits. Mental wetsuits, like, you'll be peeing in them. I know you're sweating in them, but of course, I didn't want to come on here and complain about life, but I did want to be transparent um, because <laughs> I think I've said this before. But I told a friend, um, she's like, you've been everywhere. Everyone tells me that. I kind of have been everywhere. But the one thing that social media doesn't show you is how you're actually feeling. So I would say I'm a grade A catfisher when it comes to Instagram. I mean, honestly, you could post photos of anywhere you are and people will think you're having the time of your life when honestly you could be miserable. No one knows. So... I was trying to fold it, but I gave up. Yeah, I just wanted to be transparent with you guys because obviously y'all are my nearest and dearest and I love you much. And I know, if anything, another thing that I learned while I was in New York is that you receive the most support when you're vulnerable. And okay, yeah, that's really clear and helpful and duh, but I think when you don't have like a physical community around you, me exhibiting that now in New Hampshire, it's, I feel like it's actually hard to feel like you are heard and seen. Um, and yes, like that can be shared through a text or through FaceTime, but it's really not the same when you're in the presence of another person. And so I might cry. Um, I had dinner with Natalie and Jason my first night there, and I was like, oh my god. Like, if you guys are watching this, thank you. Like, I really needed that. I felt very loved, very heard, very seen, very supported, and, you know, I do catch up with them from time to time, but it's, it's 
not the same as when you're in person with the other individual. So yeah, that was New York. We are heading into a new week. It's Labor Day weekend this weekend. I am starting my Pilates training this weekend and I'm super, super stoked. Uh, it's kind of wild to say because I remember when I was booking it last or earlier this month, I was like, oh, I wish I could start sooner. And August flew y'all. So starting that this week and I am going to try to make an effort to go out and socialize more, but we'll see. And speaking of socializing, one last thing I want to talk to you guys is I caved and I am now on the apps. <laughs> Set up my Hinge profile on the train ride down to New York and got approved on Raya probably a day later while I was in New York. So am I a fan of them? No, I feel like that was a period in my life that I've done already that I don't need to be doing anymore. Not that I don't need to be doing it anymore, that I don't want to do again, even if it is done differently. I just don't really want to be on an app to meet people, but you know what? Just need to put myself out there and honestly i'm going in with the intention of making guy friends so this might be a different way of breaking guys hearts tbd stay tuned to find out all right love you guys thank you so much for watching um please let me know what you are liking what you're not liking if the music isn't great if the editing is too choppy whatever it may be. I only grow if I hear from y'all and um, gee, we need to get an audio recording or I need to find an audio recording of Ori saying, like and subscribe.